हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ कामना सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट इन अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज टूडेज टॉपिक इज एड्रेस सिक्वेंसिंग एंड माइक्रो प्रोग्राम सिक्वेंसर दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक इज टेकन बाय द कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आर्किटेक्चर सबसेट ना बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द माइक्रो प्रोग्राम सिक्वेंसर एंड सिक्वेंसिंग वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द कंट्रोल मेमोरी and then micro programmed control and after that we will discuss about the micro program sequencer the first of all what is the control memory as we already know there are so many memories and memories are actually is the storage of the data or a information here the control memory is the storage in the micro program control unit to store the micro program here the micro instructions micro operations all the micro programs are stored in the control memory generally the control memory is the read only memory which we cannot edit but the one other memory is all also existed that is a writable control memory in the writable control memory we can edit or modify and it can allow the change in the micro program and the instruction set can be changed or modified whatever the instruction is written on that particular computer now control memory can be designed by two ways that is hard wired control and micro programmed control hard wired control and these are not the type of the control memory control it is designed by means this is the method of designing the control memory that are two ways that is hard wired control and micro programmed control the hard wired control unit is called as it is made by some hard wire just like the decoder encoder multiplexer or you can say the sequential and combinational circuit it is the combinations of the sequential and sequential circuit so in the micro programmed control there is the binary control variables are stored or the actually in the when the control memory is designed by the micro programmed control then it is called as a micro programmed control unit some terms we have to understand in the while we are discussing about the control memory as we discuss that the control memory is designed by the two ways these are the designing method that is the hard wired control and micro programmed control now in this particular control memory there are all the information are stored as a control world here the control world we can say that is a binary stream of the zeros and one and there is a one more term is here that is a control function control function we can say there is a logical zero or a one or you can say that is a enable and disable value if the zero is there means whatever micro operation or micro instruction is going to perform it will if the control function is zero then this particular instruction is not going to execute that is the disable function and if we are saying that the control function is one it means it is enable value and so the micro operation is going to be execute and the other uh, value we can say that is a bus organize system the control signal that is specified the micro operations are the group of bits that select the paths in the multiplexer decoder and arithmetic logical unit there are some particular fields we have to understand in the concept of the control memory as we discussed the control memory contains the micro operations and micro instructions and in the form of the control world so here there is a some particular terms we have to understand these are the micro operations instructions micro program and micro code first the micro operation micro operation is nothing but it is defined as whatever operations performed in the register is called as a micro operations or you can say that is the whatever the low level instructions are used in the sum design and these particular machine instructions are going to be execute in the register then it is called as a micro operation or in the other words we can say whatever operations is going to be execute in the register is called as a micro operations the next is the micro instructions we can say that is a collection of the micro code is called as a micro instructions and in other words the micro instruction is a symbolic micro program can be translated into its binary equivalent by means of an assembler 
each line of the assembly language is defined as a symbolic micro instruction. So, we can say in the micro program there is a collection of micro instructions are there and there are different different micro instructions will be available in the micro program that is CD, BR and ED. CD is the condition, BR is the branch and ED is the address we can represent it. These are the some fields of the micro instructions. Next is the micro program. The micro program is the collection of the micro instructions. Micro instructions having conditional branch or other conditions are there. Then all the particular micro instructions is line wise it will be uh, stored and then it is called as a micro program. Actually the control memory is the read only memory and whatever micro program is written in the control memory it cannot be edited. Whatever it means that the, if the hardware programmer is executed that particular and written on that particular micro program it cannot be edited or modified. There is a some another way is also available to edit that particular micro program that is because there is a writable control memory is also available. Now the last unit of that particular micro program instructions or operation is a micro code that is the smallest unit for the control memory that is a micro instructions can be sub used as a subroutine that use the common sections of the micro code and the sequence of the micro operation to generate the effective address to finding out and so we can say this is the smallest part of that particular micro instructions. Now there is a relationship between the all these particular fields which we already discussed that is a micro code instructions and micro program. Micro code we can say the collection of micro code is called the micro instructions and the collection of micro instruction and micro code is used as a micro operations and micro operation is also called as whatever operation is performed in the register is called as a micro operation. Then the collection of the micro operations and instructions and micro code is called combined in a combined way that is a micro program. So we can say the sequence of the micro operations constitutes as a micro program. Now some terminologies we have to understand before starting the sequencer. There is a control signal, variable and control word. The control word is the bit stream of the 0 and 1 and then control signals. Control signals can be of three types that is in the high impedance state 0 and 1 is there. 0 means what this particular program is going to execute if the control signal is 1. If the control signal is 0 then that particular micro program is not going to be executed. Now as we discussed earlier that the control memory is designed by two ways that is a hardwired and micro program. Why we are going to uh, study this particular micro programmed control organization? Actually, the micro programmed, we are going to discuss about the micro program sequencer. Micro program sequencer is the main component of the micro programmed control organization. That is why we have to discuss this particular micro programmed control. So, we can say the control memory is designed by the two ways hardwired and micro programmed. Then micro programmed control organization or micro programmed control unit is designed by with the help of the micro program. So, we can easily edit it. And now there are some fields of the micro program control organization. First the external input is coming over here. There is a next address generator. Actually this next address generator is the actually the micro program sequencer. Next is the control address register and the control memory and the control data register. What these particular fields can be applied? What are their operations? In the next we can study this. The first thing is that the next address generator. The next address generator is the address which is going to be executed next. It is just like that in the main memory in where uh, the next address is going to be executed, which particular register can contain this particular next address that is the program counter. But in the control memory, in pro micro program control organization, the next address which is going to be executed is stored in the sequencer. 
fine. Now, this is the control address register. There is a CAR that is a control address register. In the control address register, actually, from the different different sources, there are some addresses is coming over into the control address register and then the output is the single address which is going to be executed next in the control memory. Now, the next is the control data register. In the control data register, all particular data are available, whatever it is in the form of the control word you can say and the output of the control data register is as a control word because all the data, whatever data stored in the control memory is stored in the control data register. Now, the control memory address register is also called as a CAR or control address register and it uh, store the address of the next micro instruction which is going to be executed and the micro instruction is what as we discussed that the micro instruction contains the control word and the control word having some micro operations are there and all the micro operations are we can say whatever operations is performed in the register is called as a micro operations. Now, the location of the next micro instructions may be the one next in the sequence or it may be located somewhere else in the control memory. So, in the next we can uh, read one by one with all these things. The next address, this is the main component when we are going to execute the control memory as a microprogram control. Means microprogram control memory is designed by two ways that is a microprogrammed and a hardwired and the microprogrammed control unit having a main component is a sequencer and sequencer is have contains the next address. That is why it is called as a next address generator. Now, there is a control address register and the control memory. Control memory is not to be modified or it is we can say the control memory is as a RAM and it contains all the control word in the form of the micro instructions and the micro instructions contain the micro operations and there is a next micro instruction is also going to be executed. CDR again has a particular control word stored. Now, the micro programmed control organization. It having next address as we discussed the address sequence for the control memory. Here we can write it here as an address sequence for control memory. It means what? Which particular micro program or a micro instruction is going to execute in the control memory. Then that particular address is contained by the micro program sequencer. Micro program sequencer having different different particular type methods that is a first test method is the increment CAR by 1. In the next we can study that how the control address register can be incremented and gets the sum address because the CAR output or a control address register output is the output as a which particular instruction is going to be executed. The next is the external address which is coming out and with the mapping techniques we can use that particular next address and there is a some SBR routine is also there with the help of that particular loading instruction we can get the next instructions is also there and now in this particular control data register we can control data register holds all the micro instructions and data will be stored. It allows the execution and the micro operations is there. There is the external input is there. The next address is the micro program sequencer and the seek. Now, before starting the sequencer, we have to understand the what is the routine. First, we can now we can understand what is the micro program operations and micro code. And now we can understand what is the routine. Routine is we can say the group of the micro instructions. Whatever is stored in the control memory for a specific task, whatever task we have to done is used for a routine. So, you can say the group of the micro instructions are stored in the control memory. Each computer instruction has its own micro program routine to generate the micro operation that is executed the instructions. Now, the subroutine. Here, 
the routine is what routine is the collection of the micro instruction but the routine is performing some specific task you can say if there is a some program is there and particular sub routine or the group of the micro instruction sub routine is also the group of the micro instructions but it performs some specific task then it is called as a sub routine and the sub routine are stored in the sbr sub routine register just like in the data or a control word is stored in the cdr control data register and the all the next address instruction are stored in the car control address register just like in the sbr register sub routine register sub routines are stored inside there now the sub routine is generate the effective address of the operand to the memory reference instructions now the subroutine subroutine is actually of the two types that is procedure and functions subroutine is what subroutine is the microprocessor is a sequence of the program instructions code that perform a particular task or a specific task so there are two types that is a procedure and functions the procedure is called as a subroutine that perform a specific task when the task is completed the subroutine ends and the main program is return its address for example a procedure may be written to reset all the values to zero or we can write it here there is i am taking this example that's a clear screen of 5 if the subroutine as a procedure is used so it can print the five blank lines on the screen so this is the whatever the specific task is performed on that particular micro instruction it will perform that particular specific task and return to the main program that is the procedure subroutine and the next is the function subroutine in the function subroutine there is a it is the same way as a procedure means procedure having a some specific task procedure subroutine and now the function is what function is that that it manipulates some data and returns a result and back to the main program it is just like i am taking this particular example if there is a temperature conversion means uh, if we want the uh, celsius into the fahrenheit or the vice versa then it will contains the values as the celsius to this would result in the value of the celsius being zero means we can say in a summarized way the subroutine is for routine is the collection of the micro instruction and subroutine is again the collection of the micro instruction but it specifies some task and these particular subroutine is stored in the sbr register and the subroutine having uh, whatever the specific task is applicable that is uh, there is a procedure and functions are there now the one more thing we have to understand when we are going to discuss the micro program sequencer because all these fields are including in this there is a mapping of instructions how the mapping is done means whenever the mapping is possible when the large memory is to be mapped into the smallest memory as we know that the main memory is a largest memory and the main memory is large and then it will be if whatever the uh, instructions are stored there in that particular instructions there is a uh, physical address will be the size of the physical address in the main memory is larger than the in comparison to the micro instruction address or we can say so we have a mapping is required in the mapping if there is a uh, if i am saying that the control memory is of the 7 bit means 128 control word is stored in the control memory so naturally it will be contain the 7 bit address and in this particular 7 bit address is going to be mapped as a micro instruction address here in this particular example we can under, understand this this machine instruction is there op code is of the 4 bit and address is there and this machine instruction is coming from the main memory as a complete computer instruction is there and now there is a some mapping bits will be required and the micro instruction address is there in the micro instruction address how we can get the 7 bit of the micro instruction because we are saying that the 128 bit control words are stored in the control memory so the one bit is what first zero is appended at the msp side and the double zero is appended at the lsp side so that we can get by the help of the computer instruction we can get the micro instruction address 
this is the simple technique to map the computer instruction address to the micro instruction address so that it will be stored in the control memory. Now, the address sequencing. Now, we can understand that what are the micro operation, instructions, micro code, subroutines. Now, we can easily understand about the address sequencing. As we discussed, the micro program sequencer is the main component of the micro programmed control unit organization and the address sequencing is the method to find out which particular address is going to execute in the control memory. Here there are some ways of the address sequencing is there. First is the increment CAR. Whatever instruction or a micro instruction address is stored in the CR, we can just increment means CAR plus 1 we can write it here and the next is the branch conditions is values whatever the branch or status bit conditions are there. The next is the mapping as we earlier discussed that is a mapping from bits of the instruction to address of the control memory. Now, the last one is the subroutine whatever address stored in the subroutine register which can be loaded into the as a micro instruction address. Here is the address sequencing technique. Here there is a multiplexer is there. This particular multiplexer is we can see there is a 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 4 inputs are there and the single output is coming on. So, there is a 4 cross 1 multiplexer. In this multiplexer, <coughs> there are this particular value, the first value we can say the zero value. This particular zero value is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 is the input and the selection line is coming from the branch logic. Now, the first input of the multiplexer, how we can get the first multi, first input from the multiplexer? That is first, whatever address is stored in the control address register means at when the computer is on, at that moment some particular micro instruction address is already stored in the control memory. That particular initial address is incremented and going to the as an input to the multiplexer. The next is the particular control memory, control memory having a branch value and the micro instruction address is already stored here. So, this particular address is treated as an input to this particular multiplexer. And the next is as we discussed the subroutine register, subroutine register stores the micro instruction address which performs some specific task and this particular subroutine address value is going to the input as a multiplexer. Now, this is the particular and the ma mapping logic is also there. This particular mapping logic, it's the, you can say the external map is there means the computer instructions coming from the memory is to be mapped in the memory instructions. As we discussed here, there is, there is a uh, particular computer instruction address was there and then going to that particular micro instructions that is a 7 bit address. In this particular example, we are taking that the 7 bit address is there, otherwise the that particular value can be changed, but the mapping logic is uh, like that only. And the control memory contains the output as a, the, the control memory input means which particular address is going to be executed is coming from the control address register and here the control memory as a ROM is there as a micro operations. Now, there is a select the status bit condition is there and this particular value is providing by the branch logic. Now, we can say in the micro program sequencer, now because we can understand that what is the particular sequencing. Actually, sequencing is the method to achieve the which particular next address is going to execute. Now, this is the micro program sequencer. In the micro program sequencer, which we are going to execute means in the control memory, which particular instruction is going to be executed. The first thing is that microprogram sequencer is what as we discussed that the microprogram sequencer which particular address of the micro instruction is going to be executed next is called as a microprogram sequencer. Then there are the some ways 
to finding out the microprogram sequencer as we discuss in the this particular mic address sequencing method. These there are the four values are there which we can finding out the by the CAR1 and the subroutine values will be coming out and the control memory is there and the external mapping logic is there. Now this is the microprogram sequencer. Here we can see in the microprogram sequencer there are two multiplexer, the first multiplexer and the second multiplexer. The first multiplexer is of the 4 cross 1 size. Why 4 cross 1 size? There are the 4 external sources is coming and then some instructions address is stored here and then at only one instruction address is going to the car as an input or a control address register and then it goes to the control memory. Here the control memory, here particular control address register contains the next instruction address and because all the manipulation is taking place in the CAR that is why here the clock is implemented. In the control memory, control memory as we know the micro instruction format is what? There is a F1, F2, F3 that is the micro operations are there, CD is the conditional field, BR is the branch field and AD is the address. So, at the first multiplexer having a four inputs that is a 0, 1, 2, 3 in the first whatever address which is actually or a initial condition when the computer is on the initial address is there and that particular address is incremented by using the incrementer and this will be going as a first input of the multiplexer 1. That is we can say the incrementing the control address register or we can say CAR plus 1. Whatever address is contained in the CAR, we can use that CAR plus 1. Now, the in the second input, there is what? There is the second input, whatever address of the micro instruction address which is already stored in the control memory, it goes to treat it as a second input of the multiplexer. Now, the next is the subroutine. Subroutine is what? That is the performing some special task or a specific task and it is again the two types procedure or a function. Whatever subroutine values is stored in that particular subroutine register, that particular instruction address is treated as a third input of the subroutine in the multiplexer. We can say the facility for subroutine of the call and return is also there. And the last one, last input of the first multiplexer is what? That is the external mapping, means mapping logic is there. In the mapping logic, computer instructions is mapped into the micro instruction address. Here, uh, machine instruction is there and the mapping bits are there. Then micro instruction address, as we can understand that we are using the control memory as a 128 bit. So, 7 bit address required for representing the micro instruction address. That is why here the micro instruction address is there that is 7 bit. And here the machine instruction coming from the main memory and we can append that 0 and double 0 at the LSV side and we can finding out the with the mapping logic as a micro instruction address. So, we can summarize this that is that is that a mapping process from the bits of the machine instruction to an address for the control memory. Now, the second multiplexer is there, this particular second multiplexer having the four input that is a 1, i, s and z is there and this particular multiplexer having a test condition. This test condition treated as an input to this particular input logic is there and input logic having the i0, i1 and t condition, test condition is treated as and this input logic output is coming to multiplexer as a selection variables and these selection variables are always 2 because the there is a 4 cross 1 multiplexer means log of base 2k that is what selection variable is of 2 values s0 and s1 which is coming from the input logic. In the second multiplexer how the selection variable will be stored? There is a conditional statement is there. Conditional statement is any the, that is like the 0 or a whatever the conditional statement is this particular conditional statement is treated as a selection line in the multiplexer second multiplexer. So, there is a unconditional statement is also possible and the conditional statement means in the micro program there are some condition or unconditional. If there is a unconditional then it will treat it as a 0. If there is a unconditional branches there, so it will be treated as a enable value that is 1. 
In the conditional branch, we can easily understand there is a control memory, control address register is there and the multiplexer is there, conditional select is there. So, generally the condition to the bit test is overflow, negative, 0 or carry values can be considered. Now, the unconditional branch is there fixing the value of the one status bit of the multiplexer. There are some conditional branch instructions and unconditional branches there. There is a carry bit or a sign bit, zero value or flag value or a overflow value there is also there. Now, input logic, the inputs for I0 and I1 is coming from the BRV value. This BR branch instruction is going to be I0 and I1. Next is the multiplexer. This second multiplexer having input as 1. S is the status condition and Z is the zero condition, whatever the value is coming. And here the control memory is there. In the control memory, it contains the micro instructions and as a control word and there is a some micro instruction format that is a micro operations, CD, condition, branch and address there. This is the micro instruction format which is stored in this particular control memory and the computer instruction format is different. in in the micro instruction because micro instructions are stored in control memory. Now, in the micro instruction format, there is a F1, F2, F3, which we can say there, there is a micro operations and next is a CD, BR and AD. It's conditional or conditional or unconditional. This is the two bit value means may be possible conditional value is there or unconditional value is there. That is a 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 or 1, 1 is there. AD is the 7 bit address. Why we are using their 7 bit address? Because the control memory we are taking as a 128 control words is inside stored in the control memory. Now, with this particular microprogram sequencer, now for, for the first multiplexer, we can see that here there is a 0, 1, 2, 3, summarize, we, uh, we can summarize the microprogram sequencer at 0, 1, 2, 3 is there. The first line 0 is coming from the incrementer, which is already stored in the car, the control address register, the initial value and this particular is going on and the one value is the return from the subroutine and that is as a L. Next is the branch address or a call address and the last one is the external map. How the selection line will be chosen? That is from the input logic is coming and input logic is coming from the test condition. So, this particular selection line is of 2 means combinations or values are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 is there in the first value means if we are selecting the selection line as a 1, 1 means that particular next address is going to at execute that is from the mapping logic here. If we are selecting the selection line as a 1, 0 means this particular 1, 0 is selecting by the branch or conditional call. If we are selecting the selection line as a 0, 0, so whatever instruction or micro instruction address is here is to be incremented and then particular produces the next address which is going to be executed. So, in short, the first multiplexer provide the next instruction which particular next address is going to be executed and then the output of the CAR is going to the control storage. Now, this is the truth table is there and there is a in this particular truth table these are the input output and T line is there and the S1 and S0 and L is the output values are there. In this uh, truth table we can easily understand that this particular uh, particular function we can finding out these particular input and function that is a S0 is uh, calculated depends upon the I0 value and the S1 is calculated by this particular function and L or a load can be which is stored in the SPR routine. Now, this is the uh, as a summary of the microprogram sequencer these are the fields of the microprogram sequencer and these are the sum values.